Uh, we, we can see your slides now. Okay. I guess I'll get going. Um, I'm Warner Walsh. I'm on the 350 core team. And I wanted to give a little bit of a um, core team update since um, they went to Egypt this past summer. Um, and uh, talk a little bit about what's going on. Um, here's a number of things that the core team is working on. I'm not going to sit here and talk every single one of these to death. Um, I don't think that's necessarily useful. These are um, a number of topics that have been in the uh, core team's monthly reports um, to larger or smaller degrees. Um, so I will start talking about some of the more uh, important ones. So one of the things that the project has had for a long time is working groups. Um, in years gone by, these have been self-organized. The TCP transport team and the uh, Capsicum uh, teams uh, organized many years ago and have uh, regular uh, conference calls to coordinate uh, different people working in those areas. Um, there's also a mitigations and ASLR working group that started when the Spectrum Meltdown uh, class of um, bugs started, um, started hitting. Um, and since uh, last summer, um, the Beehive team has been added. Um, I have core added these, but really all we've done is um, brought the right people together. Um, John Baldwin and Michael Dexter have been doing the Beehive uh, call. Um, I've been doing the graphics call, although um, Nicholas, uh, who will be talking about graphics later, has really been running it. I've just been sitting there making, uh, taking notes. And recently it became clear that if we needed um, some more coordination, uh, several people were working on it, but they weren't talking to each other. So um, Drew Gallatin is uh, organizing the IFLIB call, and there's been one or two calls already. Um, these groups tend to work fairly well within each um, within the groups, but they're not necessarily well publicized outside the group. So one of the things that uh, the core team is trying to do is um, you know, create a meeting place for people to find out about these groups and find out what's going on. Uh, we recently announced the GitHub meetings repository for people that want to go and look at meeting minutes. And um, we can understand that more efforts are needed to get the word out. Uh, and we're always happy to get feedback on uh, what those efforts might be. Um, one of the things that this core team has tried to do is to improve transparency. Uh, a lot of people uh, that were elected to the core ran on transparency. And um, we've started with a transition meeting with the old core, uh, publishing meeting notes and doing monthly reports. In addition to uh, meeting you know, transparent with core, um, we've also started uh, talking to the different previous hats. These are people like the waste engineering team and the security officer team. And we hope to uh, increase the transparency within those groups as well. Uh, one of the other things we've done um, to increase transparency is uh, increase the level of detail in the monthly reports and try to get them out in a timely fashion. That worries a little late, but we've been a little bit busy with the survey. Um, this has been a learning process for all of us, and so again, if there's uh, things that people would like to see us do, or if you have suggestions for ways that we can be more transparent, we would certainly welcome those uh, suggestions. Um, one of the areas that we've been working on is the code of conduct. Um, We've not done so well in this um, as we would have liked. Um, Jeff Robertson uh, conducted a survey last summer, um, and he's been driving efforts to uh, get the code of conduct updated. Um, we've talked about it a little bit in our uh, weekly or bi-weekly meetings, um, and we found that there's a number of other people that have done this, and we thought maybe it doesn't make sense for us to rewrite one from scratch. So we looked at GoLang and LLVM. Um, I created a version of those that were tailored to the project. And um, these, uh, uh, that's a, basically where it stood since last October or November. 
Jeff has had a number of unexpected life events uh, come up. Um, there has been literally hurricanes in the, the in his uh, house in Hawaii. Um, volcanoes in the Hawaiian Islands, thankfully not his. Um, job stuff and so forth. So um, we haven't made the progress we'd like, and, and we think this is a problem. We we shouldn't be making more progress. This is an important issue. Um, the other thing that we've been doing is we've been fighting, trying to fight toxicity and negativity in the project. Um, these efforts are ongoing, but they're kind of slow. We had a lot of um, we had a lot of unfortunate email in the um, code of conduct thread um, that left a lot of hurt feelings, and it takes a while for people to get over those. And there are other issues that come up from time to time, and. One of the things that we'd like to do to raise awareness of this issue is to um, make sure that people know that we don't think that this sort of thing should be tolerated in the project. And when we notice people who have toxic behavior, we, we talk with them to try to get them to moderate. Um, oftentimes, this behavior drives other people away from the project. And that's you know, not good for the long-term health of the project. And even if they don't get people away, people are less likely to contribute. Also, not good for the long term for the project. Again, this is an area where we've made a little bit of progress, but um, we need a lot more work here um, to, to help drive the message home. Um, one of the things that we just got out this week, if you're a developer, you'll have the developer version of the survey. Um, this started, I think, at EuroBSCon Decon 2018, uh, where people got together and came up with a rough draft of the survey. And we talked for two months in the core team uh, about different ways to improve the draft, people edited the draft. Um, and finally, in, uh, over the holidays, um, things kind of stalled. So at the beginning of the year, Sean um, picked up the um, baton and organized the survey into areas. Um, the original efforts had a lot of good uh, topics that we needed to get pulling on, but didn't have good questions so that we could get data that we could uh, do something with and, and take uh, appropriate action. Uh, so over the past few weeks, we've spent a lot of time. Um, Sean was saying that it was over probably 200 hours of effort to get the survey out. Um, and one of the things that the core team included were questions on how we're doing. Um, we really want to know how we're doing. Um, we are interested in feedback. And this seemed like a good vehicle to uh, get some of that feedback. Um, we wanted to ask a lot more questions than we did. We only asked um, a few questions. Uh, this is the questions that we asked uh, with some preliminary results that we blanked out. We decided to keep the results um, confidential until all the information is in, so we don't um, somehow uh, take the survey and the data we can't use. Um, so we're, we want to know your honest and open feedback here, or in the comments, or privately to court. We are um, very interested in that. Um, and finally, um, People may have noticed that we announced that we will be announcing a new um, support model. Um, and the reason we need this is we've noticed that the different upstream projects that we take software from are moving faster in different ways than the project, our project, previous new project. Um, also, industry expectations have been changing over the past few years. Um, and in order to cope with uh, these changes, we may need to change some of the ways that we have been traditionally doing um, doing business. Um, so frankly, we're late to announce this. Um, there were, we wanted to get good data so that we could come up with a data-driven decision-making process for this. And the survey took a lot more time than we had um, originally anticipated. So um, things are delayed. Um, I believe Sean will be sending an email to previous to announce, or the core secretary will uh, later in the week um, announcing the what the delay um, and so, um, many of the questions that we had on the, on the survey were to get data so that we could um, uh, do 
do is some data-driven decisions here and maybe reduce some of the friction in the project. This is a, an ongoing issue um, and a very sensitive one. So in summary, this is kind of some of the big picture that we're trying to accomplish. Um, we want improved transparency to what's going on in the court scene. When we had the big threat of doom about the code of conduct, there was a lot of mistrust about the court team uh, using the code of conduct to punish people that it didn't like. Um, and there have been other instances where it was very clear that core was not communicating well, and uh, this was a problem for the project. So this team would also like to promote more functional interactions between um, people. We've had instances where the project has allowed some dysfunction to fester for too long, and that's not good for the health of the project. Um, another thing is we need to scale our efforts better. Um, you may have noticed a number of the items that I talked about um, were, hey, yeah, we got started and it's stalled. And that's not, I, I, I hate standing up here and reporting those things because that means we're not being as effective as we can be. So we're going to be looking at um, additional working groups or you know similar such things uh, to tackle some of the um, issues that uh, are facing the project. Um, for example, butt busting. I didn't put that in the, the, the chat, but we're looking to bring in people that have been active in butt busting to see if there are ways that we can um, make that situation better. And finally, we're trying to reduce developer friction, um, both from interpersonal friction uh, as well as from the process. If you come to the project and people are grumpy with you, you might not stay. You come to the project and it takes you all day to make a 10 line change, you're not gonna stay. And so we're looking at ways to reduce this friction that um, makes the contributors and the volunteers' time that we have more efficient so that we can be more respectful of their time. And I just wanna end on, you know, be the change you want to see in the project. Um, so that's my uh, presentation. Um, I'm going to stop sharing, but do, if there, are there any questions that um, people have? Um, we also have a couple, or I guess Sean is also joining the call, and he might be able to help with questions on the survey or other things uh, as well, if, if, if there's any questions in the room. Yeah, there'll be a survey that goes out to the FreeBSD community here in a couple of weeks. We're using um, the developers in the project as guinea pigs um, so that we can refine the questions um, and um, you know, get the confusion of oh, is one best or one worse? Uh, I, you know, those sorts of stupid things that um, uh, really affect the quality of the data we get, but also we want to put our best foot forward when we ask the community about this. We know everybody's time is valuable, and we, we, we will definitely be pulling, um, I believe, in two weeks is the current plan. Right. I asked because I, well, I was in a discussion at the Euro BSD condo to uh, survey in the first place, and I'm glad we're here to see how it turned out. Okay. Um, yeah, that'll, if, if you're not a committer, that'll be coming in about two weeks. We'll be sending that out to the free BSD announce, social media. The links will be shareable so that you can uh, share them with your friends so that you can uh, um, uh, spread the word far and wide. We are quite interested in hearing from the community. And thank you for your efforts at getting all the stuff done. Yes, in the back. Is there going to be a return survey for users and downstreams of, of FreeBSD or it's all going to be the same public survey? Um, the, the public survey will be the same for everybody. Um, the developer survey asks also um, some additional questions that are, are relevant only for developers. Um, so the public survey will be substantially similar to what we did for the developers, but might omit a couple of questions um, that talk about project dynamics and those sorts of things. We're still working on that. Uh, Michael. How are you defining developer? Developer, committer, or something else? Um, a developer is someone who has a commitment of any flavor. Either 
um, a documenter, a course committer, or a source committer. We understand that there are a number of contributors that are close to these things but aren't there yet and might be omitted from that survey. But um, they'll be um, uh, certainly welcome to uh, do the larger uh, community survey as well. Are there any other questions? Um, I, I can't quite see the whole room with the camera that I've got, so if somebody's off, off, out of my view I, and they're trying to ask a question, I can call on you directly. So. Okay, well, thank you for listening um, and your time. And I guess it's time for Nicholas and his graphics talk. Thanks, Warner. Thank you. Thank you.